fight a lot in school and get suspended and expelled from every school. I remember it was this one time, it was, I was like in the second grade and my mom, she was like crying because she always had to leave work to come get me then lose her job. And then she was just like, why do you always fight? And I just say, I don't know, I just like to fight. I've been asking her to put me in boxing for a while, but uh, she just never wanted to put me in there. I guess seeing your son getting punched and things like that, that's not what you want to see. Eventually, she, she took me to the gym. I was about like 10 or 11 years old, and I got more calm. Uh, I started to control my anger a lot more. He was always very dependent. Um, <laughs> he was always an athlete. He always liked fighting. So, it was a challenge with him, especially in school. You know. I was used to like just beating up on people in the streets, and. My first few times sparring and things like that, my first few fights, it was it was like real hard because I'm in there with experienced guys who actually know how to fight, know what they're doing, and it was just it was different. I was like two fights in, three fights in, fighting dudes for like 40 fights. You know, I went to the Silver Glove and I placed uh, in the finals. I didn't win the finals, but I felt like I won. That's where I knew like I was I was good enough to do this. I was ranked number two in the nation. So. It was scary. I mean, it's still scary seeing him in the gym, you know, seeing him in the ring. It was hard for me to put him in there, but that's something he's always had a passion for fighting. So it, it actually it was a good thing. We had a we had a, a lot of incidents. She was more like scared that something was gonna happen to me, like me ended up in jail or dead. We moved out a few times, we moved uh, to Sickleville, and then we moved to Philly. I started getting in trouble out there again, and I actually went to a juvenile detention center. From there, I went back to Camden, and then I was about 16 when I went back. She seen that I was going back down that path again, like I wasn't going to the boxing gym no more, and I was just, you know, acting up, so. I had to get out of Camden fast. <laughs> <laughs> she, she moved us out of Camden, so I can have a better life. Been fighting, getting suspended from school. Uh, the friends I was hanging around with, I was hanging around a lot of older people. I was about eight years old, hanging with 15 year olds. They were selling drugs and holding guns and things like that. And she didn't want me around that. She, she seen the path I was going. Mainly I was just believing in myself, but I really wanted to do it for my family, uh, to change all of our lives, get us all into better uh, situations, living better, and that's really what it really it is. Like I really do it for my family, my siblings, and my mom, my close family. I mean, everybody's happy for me. It really haven't changed as much because I didn't start getting them big, big paychecks yet. But when the time come, they know I got that. <laughs> Uh, it's been hard because I haven't been getting, you know, paid. I haven't been working due to the coronavirus. But I've been maintaining, though. I've been, you know, finding ways to maintain and live through life while everything is going on. But most importantly, I stayed focused, stayed in the gym, stayed training, and, you know, preparing for this fight coming up now. No distractions, no partying, no hanging out with friends. It was just real, real boring. I'm starting all over with boxing. I left off at a great point. I had a great performance in Arizona. Got a, a, a great stop bitch on a big card. And I was finally starting to settle in into the pro rankings, getting comfortable. And then I got injured. So that gave me some time off. And then on top of that, the coronavirus. So now it's, it's like I gotta get back into my groove again. And I dealt with it, you know, just basically putting my faith in God, trusting in God, staying strong through the tough times. I always been through hard and tough times, so that kind of prepared me for this coronavirus. So it is what it is. Now we're here and we're going we be ready to put on a spectacular performance on August 15th. I gotta, I gotta get the job done. I gotta, if I gotta drive an hour to go to Philly or an hour to my gym in Cherry Hill, then so be it. I gotta, 
I'm trying to be great in this boxing thing, so I gotta do what I gotta do. My performance is, is gonna make Eddie uh, put me, want to put me on these big shows and show me off as one of his top prospects in the boxing game. I definitely feel like I'm underrated, but it, it, you can't rush, you can't rush at anything in, in this sport. Uh, it all will come when the time is right. I'm just being patient. I know as long as I'm doing what I'm doing in the gym and doing what I do in the fights, my, my time will come and I will blow up. So. If I'm moving fast, I should have a world title shot at 15 fights. I feel like I don't have to move as slow as the normal, the average dude, so I feel like I can move a little fast. Right now, I don't want to fight anybody with a losing record. Like, I want to step it up in competition. The only reason why I don't, I don't care to fight this dude is because he put on a, a great fight with one of Metrum guys. And it's my first fight back in eight months, so we'll see how this goes. And then after that, I want, like, I want to step up in competition. August 15th and you'll see I'm fast. I feel like I can do everything. Uh, great body shots, I got power, even though I haven't really displayed it early on. I will show y'all why I'm special and I won't have to say why I'm special.